Conventional Energy, Chapter 19, Part 1 Notes. In today's notes, we'll go over the main sources of conventional energy except for nuclear energy. How to measure energy. Work is the application of force over distance. This is measured in joules. Energy is the capacity to do work. Power is the rate of energy or work done. This is measured in watts, which equal one joule per second. We measure the electricity in our houses in kilowatt hours, kilowatt being a thousand watts, and then the hour point says that it is exerted over one hour. Megawatts would be one million watts, and gigawatts, another common unit used, is one billion watts. <clears throat> energy resources. Our conventional energy sources are fossil fuels. In order from greatest use to least is oil, coal, gas, and nuclear energy. Our renewable energy sources are hydro energy and wind energy, and these again are in order of use, but both of these are less used than our lowest conventional energy source, which would be nuclear energy. Coal. Coal is fossilized plant material preserved um, by burial in sediments and altered by geological forces over long periods of time. We find this widespread and expansive over the United States, Russia, China, India, and Australia mainly, but in also many other countries as well. Worldwide, uh, coal is a vast resource. We mine coal in underground caverns. Uh, these are subject to cave-ins, fires, and explosions, and also cause a hazard to those digging in the coal mines. Um, the disease black lung disease is an inflammation and fibrosis in the lungs, caused by the settling of coal dust within the lungs. Not only does coal harvesting cause issues, but coal burning is also a source of pollution. The main pollutant from coal burning is sulfur oxides. Secondary pollutants include radioactivity and toxic heavy chemicals. Uh, the listed items below, uranium, arsenic, lead, cadmium, mercury, rubidium, thallium, and zinc. The 25% of all atmospheric Mercury is actually a contribution of coal burning. Solutions to some of these issues are to uh, clean the coal and remove sulfur by simply washing the coal through a process. You can remove the sulfur from the coal, creating a more clean burning coal. IGCC technology, which we read about in the beginning of the chapter, and carbon sequestration are also ways that we could eliminate the excessive greenhouse gases produced when burning coal. Oil. Oil is also made from organic molecules uh, living millions of years ago that have been altered over time. The main source of oil that we find is liquid petroleum in reservoirs, but we can also find unconventional sources such as tar sands and oil shale that are harvestable and usable uh, for oil options. Uh, liquid petroleum usually accumulates under layers of shale and impermeable rocks, and mainly we find these reserves in the Middle East whereas our tar sands and oil shale may be more located close to home. Um, oil shale is located main reservoirs in the western United States. Uh, drilling of liquid petroleum is done through a fractioning process in which the uh, oil is basically sucked out of the ground. Essentially, the oil does not sit in a lake under the ground, but is more um, in the sediments as if it, the sediments were a sponge that has soaked it up, and we need to squeeze it out. Because of this, we're only able to extract 30 to 40 percent of the oil in a reservoir. Secondary techniques for extraction are uh, implemented to force more oil out of a drilling well once we've reached a certain point and do not think that much more oil is available. Oil also has uh, negative impacts on our environment. The extraction process destroys the habitats that surround the oil drill that is placed. Um, the refining process creates heavy air pollution in states like Texas and New Jersey where there are many oil refineries. The air pollution around these refineries is very high and the air quality is very low. Importing oil, um, whether it be by ship or by um, uh, transit trans pipelines, uh, causes hazards such as oil spills. This can destroy and disrupt habitats. And then using oil uh, we burn oil to use it and it releases a high amount of carbon dioxide and when we burn oil such as the gasoline in our cars 
we have a high pro production of nitrogen oxides. Natural gas is our final conventional energy source that we will look at today. Natural gas is uh, methane, propane, ethane, and heavy hydrocarbons. These are all examples. Methane is the most common natural gas used. Uh, methane is actually the product of broken down coal. So we find this in um, coal uh, veins where we may not be able to dig for coal. We can extract methane instead. We can also find natural gases in the same sediments that we find oils in. Our main resource for natural gases are going to be in the Middle East and in Russia. Part 2 of the notes will discuss nuclear technologies for energy um, along with other conventional energy resources.